Hey there guys, this is Slamsaron, aka YouTube's Tosuke. As I mentioned before, I wanted to get into the Dungeon Siege series, or at least try it. And so, uh, since then I've played uh, two games, the PSP one and the uh, Dungeon Siege 2 on the computer. So I figured I should get my thoughts about each game. I'm going to start with uh, Dungeon Siege 2. Overall, it didn't seem that fun. I mean, it was okay, I guess. I liked how you got to make your own character, but uh, the graphics seemed a little outdated, which made the game look like it was older, and I think this game came out, you know, around like 2005 or so, so I don't really see why the graphics had to look like something that belonged on like Nintendo 64 or something. Not a big deal, but you know. Also, uh, I wasn't a big fan of the whole point-and-click movement thing. I'm not a big fan of that, honestly. Unless the game's a point-and-click adventure, like Clock Tower or the Strong Bad game. I like that kind of gameplay, but if we're talking about like a, uh, like some RTS sort of thing, or a game where you have to move around and fight people, I'd rather use like either AWSD or the, even the arrow keys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you had the point-and-click thing, which kind of sucked. Um, but I mean, it wasn't too terribly bad. Anyone who knows about the uh, Dungeon Siege series knows how it's more of a, has a bit of a party system. Like, you have this extra guy who was on your team, someone that the that's part of the story, and uh, he he's just he's pretty good. I don't know if you could switch to him. That would have been cool if it was one of those kind of games where you had like a large party, but you switched characters. Like, you could switch characters whenever you want. I like those kind of games. But this wasn't one of those kind of games. And the combat was, you know, decent, I guess. It almost felt like I was playing an action-oriented, real-time strategy sort of game. And that was sort of weird. Uh, I don't. I, this is the first time I've played Dungeon Seeds, so I don't know how the first one was. But, uh, you know, it's ultimately not my kind of thing. If I was going to play something like this, I'd rather play, like, Warcraft 3 or something. And so I uninstalled, you know, the demo, and I don't think I'll play this one. However, the PSP one was sort of what I was looking for. It was actually, in my opinion, better than Dungeon Seeds 2. Uh, instead of having you make your own character, you actually had to choose one of three characters, and oddly enough, I chose the mage guy, because, well, one, he was voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, and he looked the coolest out of them all. I mean, the warrior guy was like this big buff guy, and I didn't really want to play as a big buff guy. And there was a dark elf girl, and I played as her for a little bit, but I wanted to play as like a regular human guy for like my main playthrough. The game played similar to Champions of Norath, more so than Dungeon Siege 2 at least. It's, it was kind of like a, a uh, weird prototype of Untold Legends in a way, sort of, except with like a world map and whatnot. The combat was a little slow, but I mean that was okay. <clears throat> and even though you have you get you uh have to like choose a character, you can customize them how you want. Like my mage guy actually I gave him a sword to, for him to use and he has like armor and I kept upgrading his strength to make him super strong. So he's essentially just like a swordsman with a fireball projectile to use. So that's kinda cool. And uh, since this game has a party system, you get to choose, like, your starting person. I'm assuming you can get more, but uh, I chose to get, like, the big rock guy. I chose him essentially because I figured, okay, uh, I'm not going to be able to choose what kind of weapon I wanted or anything like that. I might just have to stick with this guy and see what it is, how it plays first, so I'll have this guy to sort of help me out while I'm casting my magic, because I assumed it would take a little while, but it turns out, you know, this guy starts off with, you know, a bow staff, and he, it works pretty well. It's still kind of slow, but, you know, it's a nice game. And, uh, he, the real rock guy was helpful. He was actually kind of strong. Like, once my guy switched to a sword, it would take, like, four or five hits to kill an enemy, while when he would attack, it would, like, take, like, up to two hits. Like, wow. That's probably just because the mage guy, whose name, by the way, is Alistair, it's probably because Alistair didn't really have a a lot of wasn't like set for fighting like close combat, so he didn't have a lot of strength. Also, something I noticed about this game, which I actually personally think is kind of cool, I sort of wish the Champions of Narath did this. Is like a class advancement, like they have like classes that you two classes that you can advance to. Essentially, for the uh, mage for Alistair is essentially 
a uh, a black mage and a white mage, but then after that he could become like a super white wizard or like a super white knight or a super black wizard or a super black knight or dark knight, I suppose. Uh, and that was kind of cool. I didn't play enough of the game to uh, to really see. It's one of those things where you level up, and I guess like after you level up to a certain level, like I think the one to get your first class advancement was 25, and the other two were 60. And uh, it take it took a little while to level up, but uh, my guy got to at least you know level four or five before I decided to stop playing. Um, the game, you know. It's pretty fun. Uh, not much voice acting in it. The game, honestly, for the most part, feels like it's a game. That's like I think it has that whole launch title quality. I don't know if I don't remember if it was a launch title or not, but there would be parts where you know it would take a lot of load, and uh, of course it froze, and so that prevented me from continuing my game. And I decided, you know what, that's good enough. Because the game, honestly, it's alright, but it's not the best game ever. I mean, it, it almost made me want to start playing Untold Legends again. I mean, I got pretty far on that one. But, yeah. So, yeah, that one was at least pretty good. I'm not going to give up on the Dungeon Siege series, though. I still want to play Dungeon Siege 3. I actually do want to play that one. I'm going to probably play it for PS3. Uh, it looks like... I'm pretty confident that this is the game I'm looking for. It looks like it's going to be like Champions of Narth, but maybe a little more advanced, maybe with like more uh, attack animations and whatnot, and I heard it was going to be multiplayer, and that'll be good, because I really do enjoy, you know, multiplayer games, especially these kind of games, like Orphan and I, you know, he, he and I are sort of big on the whole Champions of Narth uh, thing, and we thought that this would, and uh, I haven't told him about this game yet, but, uh, I think it'll be fun for both of us. Hopefully you'll get to make your own character instead of like, as opposed to like choosing like a character. I mean, if you can't choose your, if you can't make your own character and you have to choose one, that's fine as long as they have, you know, the customization level as the PSP game where you can essentially tailor your character. That's almost like De Demon Souls. No, actually that's a lot like Demon Souls. Except with Demon Souls there were a few restrictions with the armor. Anyway, from what I understand, this game is ma being made by Obsidian and being published by Square Enix. That's kind of cool. I think it's going to come out in 2011. And that's closer. That's a little closer than before. I mean, it's a, it's December now, and you know, Jan and you know, 2011 is going to come around in January. So and we won't have too much long to wait. I actually really want to play this game pretty dang badly. If, you, if you've seen some of the screenshots, and I'll put like a link to the website if you want to check it out for yourself. But this game looks like it's going to be pretty dang fun. It looks like the kind of Champions of Norath game. Yes, I know that Snowblind Studios is making that Lord of the Rings game. I'll talk about that one later. But anyway, I really do want to play Dungeon Siege 3. And who knows, maybe it'll have like online multiplayer like uh, Champions of Norath and Return to Arms. And I think Untold Legends, the Warriors Code had it. I remember playing online with someone and getting my ass kicked. But, you know. Yeah. So that's my thoughts on the Dungeon Siege game. The games, or the series at least, from what I've played. In conclusion, Dungeon Siege 2 for the PC, not really my kind of game. Dungeon Siege on the PSP, we're, it was good. It was alright, but, you know, had, like... It wasn't completely what I was looking for. And Dungeon Siege 3, I have high hopes for. This is Flimsaron, a.k.a. YouTube's Tosuke, signing out. See you later.